She sounds like a loon. Yeah, she was a little batshit, but harmless enough. Sort of a crazy old aunt kind of lady. All right, can you hold on a sec? I am out of coffee in here. Aye, aye, sir. All right, so... Can I get a cup? When we're done, of course. Like I said, I want to keep this as simple as possible and get us both out of here. You say that, but, uh... You're right. You know, you can't really drink coffee with... My hand's cuffed to a table. Sitting behind glass. Can you tell me why? Well, I could, Wayne, but it would take time. And so since I don't have to, let's just run down this list of questions real quick and get... Sorry to interrupt, but I think you do have to. Tell me. I'm a U.S. citizen, man. I have rights. And since I haven't been Mirandized, or charged with a crime, or offered a lawyer, I don't think that you have the authority. Okay, you know what? There are half a dozen ways to skin this cat. There's a state of emergency that the governor of California declared that suspends those rights and allows for civilians to be interrogated by the military. Or we can do a deep dive into the Patriot Act and the UCMJ, and we'd find another dozen articles supporting my actions here. But the simplest answer, and you'll find I'm a real stickler for efficiency, is that you, my friend, are in international waters, 12 miles off the coast. You are not in the U.S. of A. anymore. So Miranda, habeas corpus, and the right to counsel, well, they just don't exist. But truly, your handcuffs, the glass, just protocol. I follow protocol because as an officer in the U.S. Navy, that is my job. You're not cuffed because you're a suspect. You're not on the other side of that glass because I think you are some kind of dangerous criminal. Truly, I don't suspect a crime, but what I want to do is tick the boxes, conclude no wrongdoing, and get back to doing a real job. How can I help? Well, I've got a report here from, let's be honest, a total idiot who had no business interrogating you. I'm sorry he wasted your time for the record, but he was... Super de duper curious about Michaela. So, can you help me put that question to bed and move on? I can. I mean, it's really Cassie's story. I wasn't there when she found her, so what I know is secondhand. Well, that's a start. Yeah, okay. I'll tell you about Michaela. Thank you.